Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that you are doing well. If not, please remember that it will get better. I promise you. Just hang in there and have faith. Um, so this, you know, my channeled message readings are not specific to a particular sign. So this reading may resonate with anyone regardless of your sign okay but um, if it doesn't resonate please do not force it to resonate I have tons and tons and tons of tarot card readings here on my channel um, that I'm sure will resonate with you and you are more than welcome to check them out I even do readings for um, the 12 the 12 zodiac sign or each zodiac sign so you're definitely welcome to check out my channel if this one isn't resonating Okay, channels message reading. Two of Pentacles. Channels message reading. Channels message reading. Death. Two of Pentacles, the death. of pentacles okay let's see what's happening here clarify the two of pentacles knight of pentacles clarify the two of pentacles oh five of wands eight of cups yeah this person on the back king of pentacles hmm so the two of pentacles, um, yeah, the two of pentacles is representing the energy of the king of pentacles. Please remember that these cards, these cards represents energies that anyone can embody, um, regardless of your gender. So the king of pentacles, when the king of pentacles um, is at a high vibration or is represented positively. This is someone who is very like goal oriented, okay? Very hard working, very successful, you know, very abundant, career focused. Um, this is someone who is very loyal and committal. Um, when the King of Pentacles is at a low vibration, I feel, okay, when the King of Pentacles is at a low vibration, this is someone who may be a little bit too consumed with work and um, very greedy, money hungry, superficial. Um, I feel like this King of Pentacles got way too consumed with work and allowed something to happen in their life that could have been avoided if they weren't so like focused on work, okay? It's like this individual kind of just dropped everything and only focused on work. So there was the Two of Pentacles is them uh, being very unstable, okay? There was no balance between their personal life and their work life, okay? Something here was going unnoticed. They were not paying attention because they were so, like, focused on, on their career or focused on getting money. Um, so the Two of Pentacles represents instability, okay? Um, no matter how hard working you are, you have to have balance in your life. You have to pay attention to what's going on in your personal life as well. Um, and not just being focused on work because I feel like, um, I'm hearing that this person was a victim, a victim to, what were they a victim to? We'll figure it out. The, in clarity of the two of pentacles, you have the knight of pentacles. So, the Knight of Pentacles is like very um, slow moving energy. This is the slowest moving energy in the deck. So due to the instability that this individual is experiencing, they're now coming towards you with a long overdue offer. So, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is like a, it's a slow yet steady energy it's someone who took forever, but they do have a pentacle to give you. You just, you know, it's like, do you still value what this person has to give you, though? Because so much time has, you know, went on. Like, it's been so long. That's why you can't keep people waiting, you know? The clock never stops ticking. And I feel like that's just 
the question here is they took so long, but they're here with the pentacle, but do you still do you still value their offer or value them? You know, the five of wands is here. So this individual got into some sort of conflict here, some really big drama. And I feel like it includes outsiders. It there's family involved here is I literally just saw it. It was like a flash. There's family involved here. It's a very nasty fight. And I feel like they're also getting, it could be two family members or two families fighting, fighting, okay? That's the drama that's going on here. It's definitely getting nasty. And with the Eight of Cups, this individual is walking away from a past situation. So the Eight of Cups, um, the maximum cups in tarot is 10, and this is all eight cups here. So this individual was investing a lot of their time, love, and effort um, into a particular situation that they're now having to walk away from. Someone here, they may have trusted the wrong individuals. Like they were just working and working and working, and they were abandoning abandoning another aspect of their life perhaps they trusted people to look over something you know to watch over something and we're gonna look into it okay but it's definitely it's definitely an injustice here this king of pentacles has experienced an injustice and i feel like this king of pentacles worked very hard but did not get what he deserved and i'm saying he because it's a king but like I said, anyone can embody these energies regardless of your gender. But I do strongly feel that this King of Pentacles worked very hard and deserved some sort of like, you know, award or deserved a certain amount of money for their hard work and didn't get it because people here were trying, they're, they're a victim to some sort of um, like scamming or not necessarily scamming, but someone here taking their money, cutting them short, giving them less than what they deserve. I feel, um, let's look more into this. Tell us about this Five of Wands drama. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely over money. What was this trauma about? Clarify the five of wands. Something just didn't work out for this person. Even here on the back, it's like, what's happening, what's happening to this individual is because of the injustice that they caused you. So whatever this individual did to you, whether they lied to you, they, they deceived you, they wronged you, and they thought that they could get away with it scot-free, okay? But justice, the universe came in and served justice on your behalf. So this King of Pentacles experienced what we call karma. It's like some sort of cause and effect. Because of what they did to you, they got they got this karma here with these individuals. Something did not work out for them. That is why they're coming towards you as the Knight of Cups to make amends, to try to right their wrongs. Um, and with the Four of Pentacles here, it's almost like this individual, it's not even that it's almost, this is exactly what happened. They thought that the grass was greener on the on the other side. Like with this four of pentacles here, this individual was sort of holding you off and choosing another person or another situation over you. This person feels like you will always be waiting on them. Like you have to give them a rude awakening, you know, because this individual really feels like you're never going to move on and you're always going to be there. So they can leave you out in the cold. They can ch they can choose other people and other things over you and you will still be there. So they took this risk here and they may have tried to start a new beginning with someone else or start something else away from this connection. And they didn't see it as a risk because they felt like you would always be there. So if it didn't work out, I can just they can just go towards you. This is literally their mentality that you will always be there. 
And so they're coming, that's why the Four of Pentacles is here, to represent this attachment here. It's like this individual, they are attached to you, but not in a complimentary way. It's more so this person's always going to be around, so I can do what I want to do. If it doesn't work out, they will always be there. I can just go right back to them. Um, but yeah, justice being served for what this King of Pentacles did to you. What was this drama about with the Five of Wands? What happened to this person? What happened to this King of Pentacles pertaining to this Five of Wands? Oh, <laughs> literally, you guys, the Wheel of Fortune represents a car. The Wheel of Fortune represents karma. This is a karmic wheel. The Wheel of Fortune says you either have you either have fortune on your side or you have misfortune. It all depends on what you did in the past, what your actions were. It's literally some sort of cause and effect that's happening here. Because of what they did, now karma is on their tail. The wheel of fortune, a karmic wheel. So whatever this drama is about, it's their karma. Wow. This person just feels like they can you know, throw you in the dirt, run you over, do anything to you and you will still be there. Like a lot of you need to learn to set boundaries with people and learn self-love as well, self-respect, um, so that you will not allow someone to mistreat you like this and think that they can come back, okay? Um, it's like they feel like you'll always be there so tell us about this wheel of fortune this person is stressed out with the ten of wands okay i'm hearing that they are back to zero so what happened to this person let's say they tried to do something to get money or they tried to start a new beginning um or start a new job or something a work opportunity financial opportunity to you know whatever it is that they started it failed so now they're back at where they started if that makes sense and they they invested a lot into this like this person was really focused on work and and building their finances or career and now they're back at zero so it's a failed it's a failed plan here okay and and their hard work their investments pretty much went in vain and they experienced you know, some unfairness here because they didn't get what they deserve. This kind of hard work that they put into the situation, they still didn't get, you know, the money or the opportunity that they were supposed to get. So this individual with the Ten of Wands is um, very stressed out. They're very worried as well. Um, I'm also hearing if this, I feel like this is a financial situation, like they were working on their finances, they may have started something new, started a new job or something or some sort of work opportunity, or a new business plan. It, it just depends because it's a general reading, okay, but it was something new that they started. And they they just disposed of you like you didn't mean anything. And they chose work over you. And um I feel like if this is something with finances where they had to invest a lot of money, they invested more money than they had. And so they were hoping that they that this investment that they made would bring in money so that they can pay pay the money that they owed. Like for example, this is very specific, so if it doesn't resonate, leave it. But for example, this person like may have used up all their savings or something used up all their money in hopes that you know this investment will bring in even more money for them and they'll be able to pay back a loan or something like that but they don't have anything they literally don't have anything they didn't get any revenue okay um yikes They are a king of cups. This is who they really are. This is someone who carries very deep feelings and emotions, but I know the king of cups tends to uh, sabotage a lot of good things in their life uh, due to their fear of getting hurt, their fear of 
uh, showing their vulnerability. So if you look here, this king is actually holding back his cup of love that he knows he should give you. And, and instead, he's showing you the card. So this is someone who had deep feelings for you, but they wanted to play games with you instead of giving you their cup of love. They were playing all sorts of games with you. I feel like this person did not does not like being in love. And then you came into the picture, they fell in love with you, but they didn't want that, okay? They don't like to show their vulnerability in fear of being hurt. So they intentionally made a bad decision. You know, they went against this connection and now karma is, is really getting them. But I feel like the reason why karma is really getting them is because of how they went about things, right? Everyone has free will. If you wanna leave a relationship, so be it, but at least do it with dignity, you know, and integrity. Um, but I see the way this person treated you was so cold and ruthless. Clarify the death. Ten of Cups. Oops, oops, oops. That was my hand. Let me do it again. Clarify the death. Six of Wands. Yeah, this is you. Oh, yeah. Queen of Swords. So this is the other person who was done wrong, okay? They are the death. They're going through a powerful transformation. They are going through ending. So the death represents putting an end to one's past and going towards a new beginning. So if you're this Queen of Swords, if you're the partner who was hurt, who was abandoned, um, you have ended this for good. I just, I feel like you're really done this time because this person, like, they, you know, they kept on hurting you and hurting you, backstabbing you, backstabbing you. Don't take advantage of someone's loyalty because a person can only, no one is obligated to wait on you to change, to wait on you to be a better person. No one's obligated to wait. You know, and um, I feel like you were very loyal. I feel like you really, you were very patient with this individual. And the more patience you had, the more they took it as a sign that you would never leave. Like this is someone who just, they're very destructive, I feel. But with the death here, you're done with this. Your cup has filled and you're ending this. You're going towards your new beginning. This is an end to a 10 of cups connection. So if this person was really, you know, committal and serious about this connection, it could have been a Ten of Cups connection. The Ten of Cups is my happily ever after card, you know, like that unconditional love, like two people uh, overcoming the obstacles in this connection, getting together, settling down, marriage, children, all that good stuff. The maximum cup is 10. So there was high potential for the both of you to overcome these obstacles, create a solution, get together, settle down, marriage, children. There was high potential for that. The 10 of cups is like establishing a future, establishing something long term with each other. It's done with though, the death. There has been an ending. Okay. Um, and the death is like a permanent ending. So, um, six of wands, six of wands represents victory. So it looks like if you're the queen of swords, you're seeing this connection as an obstacle that was like standing in your way of better things, um, bigger, better things that you deserved. So with the six of wands here, you're actually the victor. Okay. You are victorious because you didn't miss out on anything. If anything, this person missed out. Okay, you didn't take a loss, they did. So, and the Six of Wands is also saying you're the victor because you left behind a lot of instability that would have just continued to break you down. Okay, this person was not giving you stability at all. So by leaving this person, you are the victor. If you would have stayed, you would have continued to be taken advantage of. Okay, so you really, you conquered a lot here. And you're feeling very victorious because if you're able to overcome someone like this person, then that shows that you're ready for your new beginning. And that's exactly what's happening here. Um, with the Seven of Cups, this Queen of Swords is looking at 
other options, other opportunities, okay? She's no longer giving 100% of herself to this person, 100% of her attention to this person. She's looking elsewhere. And with the star, this is manifestation, wish fulfillment, okay? So you are going to get what it is that you want. And the Six of Wands is saying you are victorious because you left behind so much instability that just was not good for you. You are the Queen of Swords that's here. The Queen of Swords is someone who is very smart, very sharp-minded, uh, you know, very good at communicating as well. This is someone who doesn't tolerate the BS. I always say the Queen of Swords has this attitude of like, you either come correct or you don't come at all. This Queen of Swords is um, someone who has mastered setting boundaries with individuals because in the past, she was hurt due to her unwillingness to set boundaries with people. So this is an individual who values boundaries and does not want anyone to take advantage of her, okay? I feel like this is you. And even behind the Queen of Swords and Knight of Pentacles, you are on, look at this woman here, on her right, rightful path with so much pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. So many of you could really be focused on your, your work, your finances. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who is very abundant, very blessed, and also very independent. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me, you guys. Um... So you're just not focused on this love. You're not focused on this person anymore. Okay, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Oh gosh. Let's do that again. Keep on dropping these cards. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is, um, let's just say you want this card to come out in a reading, okay? The Ten of Pentacles doesn't just come out for, for just anyone. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is the most abundant relationship one could ever have. Okay, the maximum pentacles is 10. You have all 10 here. You even see the family portrait, which means that this is going to be long term. You are definitely going to establish a future with this individual, this new love here. Okay, um, this is a kind of relationship where people will look up to the two of you. Um, you guys are going to be like, couple goals or relationship goals you know people just looking up to the two of you and wishing that they had what the two of you had uh what the two of you have you and this new love here this is someone who you're definitely gonna choose to have a family with um the hermit clarify the ten of pentacles Ace of Cups, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Clarify the Hermit. So the Hermit is someone who is isolating or someone who was in isolation and now they're coming out of hiding. Clarify the Hermit. Nine of Wands. Two of Cups. Clarify the Hermit. Ace of Wands. Who is this Hermit? Who is this Hermit? Knight of Swords, third party, three of cups. Okay, so this person is gonna come in um, during a very busy, uh, a busy period of your life because I see with that Knight of Pentacles, you're really gonna be focused on yourself improving your life. Uh, that Knight of Pentacles is you working very hard at work and building your finances. And even here, it's like you have, where's that nine of pentacles? Okay. 
didn't the nine of pentacles come out um anyways the maximum of pentacles 10 you came out as the nine of pentacles earlier and so you are only missing one pentacle to have 10 pentacles okay and it's almost like this individual is going to be coming towards you at a specific time in your life that is not a coincidence um this king of pentacles is someone who's very uh money hungry very materialistic and i feel like you have all nine pentacles. They're going to try to come in to give you, because it's like the only thing that you're missing is a relationship. The only thing you're missing is love. And they're going to try to come in to give you a commitment in order to share this 10 of pentacles with you. But the thing is, is that really fair though? Because you build your nine of pentacles all by yourself and they're just coming in to give you one pentacle. And it's because they want to share, they want a share of your abundance that is why and many of you remember what I'm saying they're gonna come in your life during a period of like major success okay many of you are really going to be flourishing and people will hear about you and it's not a coincidence when you see this person coming in it's because they want this kind of relationship here the ten of pentacles relationship this is this is a couple who has money, a couple who is very successful, okay, a very wealthy couple. And, but what I'm hearing, it's like, it's almost like they're just going to be giving you that one pentacle while you're the nine of pentacles. And they're hoping, you know what? Yeah, I'll be a part of this 10 of pentacles here. I'll have a partner who is very successful and I can live this kind of lifestyle here. You know, it's like, I don't know. It's up to you whether you want this person back, but it's, it's the timing that they're going to come in. It's it's not a coincidence at all, at all. Okay, it is not a coincidence. Um, so in clarity of the hermit, this is someone who may have ghosted you, or I, I feel like they just abandoned you. That's why they're here as the hermit because they're coming out of the hermit energy. They're, they're going to be coming towards you as the Knight of Wands with a lot of passion, but be careful because Knights are known to be very um, immature, and they're even here again as a Knight, the Knight of Swords. So they're going to come towards you. The Knight of Swords is a very swift energy. They're going to come towards you out of nowhere um, with a lot to say, with a lot to say as well. And you have the Two of Cups that's here. I feel like with the Two of Cups, they're gonna try to take you back memory lane and remind you of the connection between the two of you uh, to try to see if they can still get you back. Um, Ace of Wands, this passionate new beginning here. I did ask who this Hermit is, it's them. They're coming out as a third party because I definitely feel like by this time, you're going to be establishing um, a, a relationship or at least a connection with a new love so when they come in it's going to look like some sort of third party situation or love triangle ace of cups yeah look at them they came out as the king of cups this is the same person this king of cups here is going to be desperate to give you a relationship because they see that that is the only thing that you are missing. You have everything. I told you when people see you as the knight of pentacles, they see you as someone who has it all. You have the finances, you have the career, you have the lifestyle that everyone wants. And they're going to be like, well, all I have to do is just give this person a relationship and boom. I'm part of this Ten of Pentacles that they have. We'll share this Ten of Pentacles, but the Nine Pentacles resides within them. I'm just giving them one pentacle. Does that make sense, you guys? Like, it's just this person is very, um, very calculated, very self-serving, I feel. That's the perfect word. They do things that will give them benefits, okay? There's always some sort of hidden intention behind the things that they do. So you have the Page of Wands. Clarify the Page of Wands. Yeah, four of Cups. 
I feel like even the universe isn't really in favor of you and this person being together because, yeah, look, the justice, the universe will not allow this person to get a relationship with you. The most that the two of you may be able to get is some sort of like, you know, acquaintanceship. The universe, with this justice here, this person has caused you many, many injustices. They have really hurt you and caused major imbalance in your life. And even the universe is like, stay away from this queen of swords. You've done enough damage. So every time, what I'm seeing is every time this person tries to get close to you, justice is going to justice is going to be served karma is going to come in and block them from getting too close to you so you really don't even have to worry about them okay this is them with the four of cups feeling rejected because i see that this person will choose you choose to come forward and rejection is here at the four of cups so it's like every time they try to come close to you something something's going to happen where they're going to feel rejected or oh man it's not a good time let me try again the next time they try to come in, oh, like something happens. Okay, it's not a good time. Let me try again. Like the universe is going to be putting blockages every time this person tries to come close to you. And it's because they're not coming in with good intentions. Until they try, until they come towards you with sincerity, the universe is not going to give them a chance to gain entry back to you. There's always going to be some sort of blockage here. So you really don't have to worry about this person. Clarify. Yeah. Ten of Swords. They stabbed you. They stabbed you in the back. Look, Five of Cups is even here. Crying over spilled milk. They're going to regret what they did to you. They're going to regret not choosing you, mistreating you. They will regret it. They will see you. I Like you're literally the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to have it all. You will have all the abundance in the world. And this person will have to sit back and watch you succeed. And this is them crying over spilled milk, wishing that they treated you better so that they can get a taste of this Ten of Pentacles. They backstabbed you. They put Ten Swords in the to your back. These Ten Swords didn't just appear, appear all at once together. Okay, they accumulated over time. First they put one sword, then they put another and another and another and another to the point where they put 10 swords in your back. Clarify the 10 of swords. Yeah, deception. Oh, look, seven of swords. 10 of swords, the ultimate betrayal, the moon, deception. They deceived you. They lied to you. They kept you in the unknown about a lot of things. They were being sneaky. The moon and the seven of swords, like they're being exposed. The moon and the seven of swords. The seven of swords literally represents someone who is sneaky. Someone who did something sneaky and they tried to get away with it. Okay, and what I'm seeing here is this person is going to be put on blast. Whatever it is that they did behind your back and they tried to be sneaky and didn't want you to find out, they will be called out. They will be exposed. They will be literally like I see the spotlight on this person and, and them being exposed for whatever it is that they did with this moon and they tried to get away with it. They thought they could get away with it. That's why they're here as the moon, as the hangman. They're tangled up because once they get exposed, there's nothing that they can do to hide what it is that they did. The spotlight is going to be on this person and the truth. Look, ace of swords, the ace of swords represents clarity. It represents getting the truth. The truth will be revealed and this person is going to be feel so embarrassed, so ashamed. They really thought that they could hide this deception forever. Get away with it forever. Look at the devil. The devil represents toxicity. Someone who is controlling, possessive, ob obsessive. Look, judgment. Literally, the judgment is here. 
judgment call, judgment judgment put on them for what it is that they did. They can't hide. They can't escape this. They can't run away from it. No, no amount of lies that they have told to not take accountability for what they did can help them. Literally, this is going to be them with the hangman. The hangman is someone who's stuck, lack of action. When this spotlight gets put on them and they get exposed, there's no amount of lying or hiding that can make them not have to take accountability for what they did. They will be judged. Trust me. Judgment is here. Trust me. Clarify this moon. It's like this is the kind of connection where the damage has been done. The damage has been done. So there's no point there's no point in even holding on to this connection anymore. Too much damage has been done. Clarify the Two of Swords. Page of Cups. The thing is, I feel like this person will never really change. They will change. They will. But you can't change people. Only God can. Karma will, karma will deal with this person until they're forced to change. Until they'll have no other option but to change. You know? And I feel, I feel like with this Two of Swords, whatever it is that they did to you... It kept you so conflicted. You didn't know who to trust. Okay. You were being deceived. You were being lied to with the Page of Cups. You didn't miss out on, on anything. You didn't take any losses. Losing this person or it's like this situation was a blessing in disguise. Because this individual is so toxic. Like they came out as the moon, seven of swords, the moon they have secrets. They're deceitful. Seven of Swords, they try to get away with the sneaky things that they do instead of admitting it, apologizing and, and changing, doing better. The devil, they're very toxic. This person has toxic traits and it's very hard, close to even impossible to unlearn toxic traits. It's like it's all that they know. There is no point on, there's no point in holding on to this individual. There's no point in, you know, wanting to revenge this person because your justice will be served. Absolutely. You are literally six of wands. You are the victor here. Okay. So, um, I feel like I said everything in this reading. I do. Okay. And um, I really hope that this reading gives you the clarity, confirmation that you were seeking. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and you haven't subscribed yet, I would truly appreciate if you do su subscribe, like, and comment to support my channel. Thank you guys so much and take care.